from Gordon Smith and I'm joined by Ben Smith. Hello. Good to see you again, Ben. And you? Uh, we're here at the workshop on a cold and rainy Sunday evening. I don't know if you can uh, hear the rain on the roof. If you can, I apologise for that, but uh, not much we can do about it. Um, and we're here because, Ben, there's something we need to talk about. Go for it. What's, what's up? We need to talk about weight. <laughs> not the fact that you've lost loads and I've put loads on, but the fact that over the last couple of years, we have been asked more and more and more about lightweight guitars. Now, yeah, it's, I mean, people like them because it is, you know, it's not the 70s anymore and people have realised that heavy, heavy guitars are not, it's not the thing. Well, there was that thought, wasn't there, that <laughs> the more a guitar weighed, the thicker it was, the more dense the timber was, the more resonant it would be. Sandwich a bit of brass in there. <laughs> yeah, whatever you could do to add a bit of weight, put the sort of wheel hub weights on it. Yeah, just yeah. To, but of course, it's proven not to be true, not to be the case because... Um, well, as we found with the guitar we're going to talk about tonight, um, these lightweight guitars are ringing out and they're resonant and they're, they're, they're sounding great. Absolutely. I mean, this thing is, uh, I've only had, been playing it for about 15 minutes or so. It's, it's yeah, it's fantastic. Um, it weighs less than six pounds. Yes. So, so what we've done, if I talk about the wood a little bit, just tell you a bit it. about the wood. Go so we were looking, um, you know, with Swamp Ash becoming more and more difficult to get hold of, we were looking for an alternative timber to use for bolt-on guitars, whether it's the Gatsby or the, uh, the, the Graf or any of the other bolt-ons that we make. Um, and we found out, we heard about Pol uh, Polonia, which is what this guitar is made out of. Uh, it's a wood that, if I've pronounced it wrong, just tell us in the comments so below. Polonia. 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 Uh, so it's a wood that's been used in traditional Chinese instruments for a thousand years plus. Um, it's really, uh, it's got a great strength to weight ratio, um, really balanced as a timber, and it makes a great tone wood. Um, yeah, it does. It's super resonant. I mean, it's, yeah, it's really resonant. I love it. And as you say, it gives us a finished guitar that's weighing in at under six pounds, which in modern money is... 2.7 kilos, yeah, thereabouts. 2.7 kilos, which is uh, incredible. Yeah, not much at all, really. I mean, it's, um, and it's pretty. The grain is really pretty on here, which is, you know, it's nice, isn't it, that it looks nice. And um, it doesn't look dissimilar to ash, does it? It looks, it, it looks very similar, to be honest. If, if I didn't know, then I could easily have been fooled into thinking it was a piece of ash. Um, but it's, yeah, it just weighs nothing. So it's really comfortable. Be a, you know, fantastic guitar to gig. You'd, you would, you'd be all right doing sort of 245 minutes with that round your neck corner. Four, three, three hours, four hours, you're fine. <laughs> Do you want to show us what it sounds like? Sure, yeah. Now, um, the pickups in here as well. They're so the, new, right? the pickups have been wound. Um, they're part of a new range of pickups that we're going to talk to you about in another video in a couple of weeks' time. But um, we are, uh, we're starting to make right. some really nice hand-wound vintage spec pickups. And these have been voiced specifically, hand-wound by uh, Rob Bowman, our head luthier here. And these have been voiced specifically um, for, the, uh, for this guitar, for the, uh, for the Polonia uh, timber. So uh, let's cool. see what they sound All right, like. Then. We'll start on the bridge because that's where you need to start on T-Style guitars, I think. Um, <laughs> That does exactly what I would want that to do in that position. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, trebly, but not too like ice picky. No, not no, sharp. Not, no, no, not, no. Not, not piercingly trebly, and, and lots of bottom end in it as well. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, not yeah, but lots of clarity in the bottom. The end, right amount it? of bottom end, I would yeah. say. Not too much. Some of it. Sometimes people kind of overcompensate. <laughs> Awesome, right. Neck on its own and then together. I love the neck pickup, this kind of, this covered style of pickup. 
Um, I know sometimes they get a bad rap from people, but I think they're really nice. When they're done well, sometimes they're not done well. So let's see what this one's like. Ha <laughs> ha Ah, oh, sounds great. It sounds killer. I mean, <laughs> it didn't sound that good when I was playing it earlier, but that sounded great. It, it does. Like the kind of the, the jazz guys who play tellies, like the um, kind of Bill Frizzell's and Julian Julian Large type thing. That that does that. I mean, I can't play like that, but it does that type of thing where, especially if you can kind of talk, roll the tone back a bit. That's lovely. That's lovely. So, it, well, so both together, I'll turn everything back up to full so the tone's up full as well. So. So it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. It's. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love. I mean, yeah. I love lightweight guitars, and I, they have a thing that. Yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, we've paired that with a really beautiful piece of roasted flame maple. I don't know if you can catch that on yeah. the camera as well. But um, because, of course, roasted maple lightens it up as well. You're roasting it, getting yeah, rid yeah. of all those resins inside. So it gives you that really sort of nicely balanced guitar as well. So it's not like sort of. It, yeah, it's really comfortable. I mean, you know. I, you know the finish is always great on, on your guitars, but the finish is wonderful. The playability is excellent. Rob is just genius. The best. Yeah. At, at genius. All, all the all of the all of the stuff with you know finishing and stuff. But yeah, the, the weight of it is just really nice. So if you're watching this and you're thinking that's great, but it's not really for me because I play a set neck guitar, not a bowl guitar, don't worry, because we are also building a couple of sample guitars in you know, using another super light tone wood, um, which we'll have ready in a couple of weeks, and we'll come back and we'll do another video on those and demonstrate those to you. So we, you know, you will be able to find a Gordon Smith solution uh, for whatever guitar you're looking for under or around six pounds, which is going to be game changing I think for some people Paulonia. for some players Polonia the wood of the future the wood of the future <laughs> uh, and of the past because it's been an instrument well, as we I said mean, earlier yeah that's a true a thousand year history in, in, in guitar uh, in instruments I was going to say in, and it's not just like it's, it's for soundboards as well isn't it it's yes, specifically specifically for, a soundboard wood. like soundboard Timber. wood yeah, yeah. So it's, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Very cool indeed. I love this. Great. Well, all the details are live on the uh, Gordon Smith website. If you want to find out how you can order one, how you can get one costed up or dream up your own spec, then uh, have a look there or give us a call at the workshop. All Cheers. Right. Bye.